India is a very large country. We have a massive population with insane diversity. There are essential services, etc., that don't really reach all strata of the society. So wherever there are gaps, people who are committed, willing, they try to address those gaps. NGO is just a legal term, but these are organized efforts, non-profit efforts that are really geared toward problem solving across a wide spectrum of problems in society. Everything from soil to water to education to sanitation, you know, countless problems. See, one thing is clear that NGOs are having definitely greater connect with the grassroots. And many places where government's interventions are insufficient or not able to reach, their NGO's presence addresses the issues better. Although the intent is there of most NGOs for the welfare of the society, but somewhere there is a lot of skepticism in people. Fundraising for any NGO is a challenge, right? It is based on credibility. We are dependent on grants and donations that we receive from institutions, foundations, CSRs and individuals. And we are working in the very, very remotest part and all. And often uh, they also don't find much meaning in investing in those far off places. Our growth, our reach, our replication can be much faster if we are getting adequate funds, which right now are not adequate, I would say. NGO space is not going to go away because this is driven by the empathetic, passionate people who are uh, ready to give their life for a cause, you know. And I think many times uh, 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 systematic or large systems uh, lack that empathy. Uh, you have to go through the very vision of Honorable FM when in 2019 budget she spoke about social stock exchange. The vision was to bring the capital market close to the masses. And there's a bedrock of, you know, ESG. Then the people should not be conscious around only all the money, you know. It should be environment, social, governance, all three together. SSC is nothing but a contributor to that. SSC is one medium which is very comforting to the NGO. There is a validation. When we go out as an NGO, we approach anyone and we say, you know, uh, we are listed, we are part of the SSC. Oh, you know, the reaction is suddenly they have faith, uh, there is authenticity, uh, there is credibility to what we are doing as an NGO. SSC is like a stock market, uh, albeit on the social side of things. It provides a platform for investors, for retail, for individuals to come together and contribute for the development of the country. The philosophy is like this. I am running an NGO. The first question I ask myself is, why am I doing what I am doing? Because we all want to do good. But doing good is one aspect of it. Measuring what good you have done, how you have spent the money, how you have documented it, how you have maintained compliance, all this matters. If you believe in that, you must be in SSC. India announced it in July 2019. And clearly recognizing that the fiscal resources required for social development can no longer be met by the state alone. And Team India can't be just government. Every citizen needs to participate. I think that's a foundational paradigm. In my opinion, no amount of regulation can match the market's oversight and regulation of an organization. And this provides the opportunity to tell the whole world how socially relevant the civil society organizations and NGOs are. We, we have been able to talk to a few organizations who understand the challenges and have decided to try it out and be pioneers. I think interest is there, everybody's intent is there. We were knowing about the social stock exchange and we kept hearing. It really excited us as an organization and because, you know, the values what the social stock exchange has is very much aligned to the values of uh, TRI also. To be accountable for the public resources, to be accountable for the change we are promising. This actually opens up a space for private philanthropy to actually invest in social impact and 
एस एस सी इज गोइंग टू बी दैट मीडियम विच गिवस दैम दैट विंडो ऑफ सींग हाउ इम्पैक्ट लुक्स लाइक एंड यू नो दिस इज गोइंग टू मेक गिविंग वेरी एस्पिरेशनल इन आर कंट्री when the finance minister has announced social stock exchange swami vivekananda youth movement definitely wanted to list ourselves so we can create a path for other ngos to list we started to work ourselves how we can build our capacity as well as we can take other ngos with us as an organization we strongly believe in social infrastructure creation and ssc is a great platform to do that As one of the first few organizations, I would say it's been a learning process, but I'm very thankful to the exchange, to the intermediaries who've been like very supportive and you know walked us through the whole kind of process and journey. So I think there is a need today for this ecosystem which talks about financial return and financial instruments to really talk about social return. and therefore the social stock exchange and the instruments which are now available there with full transparency with full trust these are instruments where you can invest for social return and for us every investment made by every citizen in this country deserves the protection of sebi there will be certain requirements and when these requirements are new and the first step is being taken it feels hard but you know once you're in your stride uh, it just gets easier and easier there are challenges in uh, registration and in getting the documents approval obtained the point is that these challenges i would say in a way will build the confidence of the investor ultimately or the donor the reason being the more the compliance is the better the implementation ultimately when we go further it, this will become a routine so it will no more be a hurdle beat our social stock exchange advisory committee in sebi or our governing council in nsc people are coming from uh, venture capital people are coming from social sector people are coming from government you know so i think this multi prong approach to solve the problem of social sector is happening here so it's a wish list that if atg and csr corporate investments csr fund is also getting routed through this route it it will be a very big sector when it really came to the stage where you have to have pragmatism to try and make this work i think that is when we were able to step in and say that we will put our money where our mouth is committing this sum to the first five non profits who list just to see how it all really works out donors need to want to come onto the platform and we said let's find a few initial donors who have a similar mindset as us and who can put in that upfront capital thing it doesn't matter we fail but we need to put this risk capital so that it paves the way for other donors to say oh okay if these guys have done it then we should also do it and i'm very excited to see how a few of these ngos early adopters a few donors have all come together to say we can actually make it successful and create that pathway that then for anybody else to follow becomes really easy a 100 crore capacity building fund has been created which like sidbi nabard nsc etc we came together and we created a fund so capacity building fund is helping two ways one is creating awareness another is to help the entire ecosystem and support the stakeholders and then we have supported two of the first five ngos listed on there another big activity is a part and parcel of life only thing is not known to the public at large so nobody actually tells even the right hand doesn't actually what the left hand does when it comes to donations that is the belief that they have but having created a platform with as low as 10000 rupees people can participate it essentially means this can become a mass event as you move forward i am glad uh, i attended this event uh, today i think it definitely take india to the next level to find a source of funding for uh, carrying out a uh, lot of the social activities ngo activities in the country a lot more effectively when a mother gives birth to a child you've created new life that feeling of having created something new i think the entire ecosystem today felt that that here was the birth of something new which we are hoping will grow big and strong and be a really important part of the inclusion agenda for our country the branding which unnati got in 20 years of our work i have not got the branding which i got it since the time we did the listing so it's been phenomenal the journey has been phenomenal because it is not understood and known to everybody that narrative 
has to be told very loud by everyone in the ecosystem. To the NGOs, my call of action is be there. It is very futuristic. Even if you are not there ready for listing, get registered. Start thinking of listing and go back to your processes, develop it so that in the next two years, you are ready for listing. To the donor, it is very important that you build this ecosystem. Donors must be there waiting to say that we will support anybody in SSC. They must say because credibility is built. Second, because this money can measure impact and it is for the country to see it. So they must participate in this program as a nation building process. That's the way a donor should look at it. Today, when the issues are coming, it is mainly subscribed by the HNIs, ultra, ultra HNIs, or big donors. You know, for me, the first first knock on the door of success is when retail participation comes. And I think uh, we are in touch with our, our brokers, including Zerotha, which are working kind of EIPO system where people can come and see the causes, and they can just uh, uh, subscribe to it like they subscribe to the shares. You know, the uh, pinnacle of success seems to be when. Even a thousand crore project is subscribed fully by the retail. You know, it will take some time, but I think that is success for me. Society celebrates the magic of money making. Society has to start celebrate the magic of social change. What we value as a society is going to determine what we are going to focus on. The good thing is, how much of coffee can you drink? How much of uh, leisure tours can you make? How much of clothes can you buy? How many cars can you park outside your house? At some point of time, the restless is going to translate as, "I'm missing something. What more can I do?" We all have to hope that that missing something, that which is going to be driven by empathy, a concern for society and good, will drive people to make the difference. In India, we are fortunate; we have demographically a younger population. So I wouldn't completely say they lack empathy; they lack credible opportunities to express empathy, and that's what they're seeking. And we need to present it to them.